Your Excellency, while we remain standing, permit me to invite Ms. Evelyn Nyakwara to lead us in our word of prayer. Let's pray. God, we come to you this morning. We thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for enabling us to, uh, to sit here today. As we undertake this activity, we pray that you be with us. We commit the leadership of this country into your hands. We commit our president into your hands. We pray that you be with us and all that is planned for this day. Father, you make it a success, for we have prayed, believing, and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We may take, kindly take our seats. Your Excellency the President, Your Excellency the Deputy President, Your Excellency the Prime Cabinet Secretary, the leadership of the National Assembly and the Senate, all members of Cabinet present, the Governor of Nairobi, who is here on behalf of the Council of Governors, honored guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. This state ceremony is convened pursuant to Article 115 of the Constitution for the presidential assent of the Affordable Housing Bill, National Assembly Bill Number 75 of 2023. Your Excellency, the bill was passed by the National Assembly on 21st February 2024 and thereafter by the Senate with amendments on 12th March 2024. Subsequently, the National Assembly endorsed the Senate's amendments and passed the bill on 14th March 2024. Your Excellency, with both houses of Parliament having discharged their law-making mandate, Your Excellency, as the head of state and government, is most graciously invited to exercise your presidential prerogative as vested in you by Article 115 of the Constitution to ascend to the affordable housing law. Sir, permit me now to invite the following members of the executive alongside the parliamentary leadership to witness Your Excellency assent to the affordable housing National Assembly Bill 2023. Your Excellency, let me invite His Excellency the Deputy President to move forward, followed by the Honorable Attorney General, if he's not there, the Prime Cabinet Secretary to, to move forward, the Cabinet Secretary for Lands, Public Works, Housing and Urban Development, the Speaker of the National Assembly, the Speaker of the Senate to follow. The Governor of Nairobi County, the, majority, the leader of the majority party in the National Assembly, followed by the majority leader in the Senate, Excellent sir, I now invite the clerk of the National Assembly to convey the vellum copies of the bill for Your Excellency's presidential assent. Yeah. Okay, let me also invite the Chair of Finance Committee and the Chair of Housing Committee and, and the Senate, both committees.
the clerk. Your Excellency, I have the instructions, the consent of the Speakers of Houses of Parliament to place before you the vellum copies of the Affordable Housing Bill 2023. This bill, Your Excellency, was published on the 4th of December in the name of the member for Kikuyu and the leader of majority party in the National Assembly. It was read the first time and referred to the committees of finance and housing of the National Assembly chaired by the member for Emuradikil and the member for Molo. The committee, Your Excellency, undertook public participation on the bills using the four options that are there in the starting orders by going throughout the country to undertake public participation in not less than 19 counties. And then thereafter, Your Excellency, the, com the committees also engaged stakeholders and experts. The option of Public participation by way of memoranda was, was stayed by courts for some time, but thereafter it was lifted. That's why the committees decided to, to take the option of going out the, of the country, going around the country, and uh, engaging members of public in that manner. The result, Your Excellency, are amendments that uh, informed the bill, largely coming from the members of public and the experts in the field. Then thereafter, Your Excellency, when the bill was considered a second reading, amendments were inserted, largely coming from the public. The bill was sent to the Senate. The Senate, Your Excellency, the, in the Senate, the bill was sponsored by the Senator for Kedicho and the leader, Senate Majority Leader, Your Excellency. The bill, Your Excellency, was referred to the Housing Committee, chaired by the Senator for Kembu County. And the Senate was able to look at the bill with the lens of our counties. Therefore, the Senate introduced amendments which are also accepted by the National Assembly. In a nutshell, Your Excellency, this bill provides a framework for implementation of the affordable housing program. It creates a board for purposes of administering the affordable housing programs. That board, Your Excellency, is mandated to undertake certain things in law the bill also establishes four components of affordable housing, including the social housing unit, which is for persons who are earning less than 20,000 uh, per month, the, social, the, the middle class, which is for persons who are earning between uh, above 49,000, and the general affordable housing for persons who are earning between 20,000 and 149,000, Your Excellency. And finally, there is the rural housing, which is housing for at places outside the urban areas, Your Excellency. The bill also has institution uh, housing component, Your Excellency. This bill is also giving some tax reliefs, especially to the informal sector and to persons who uh, subscribe to the affordable housing scheme. The rate remains at 15% for employee and 15% for the employer. Oh, sorry, 1.5, Your Excellency, 1.5%. 1.5%, Your Excellency, uh, both for the employee and, f and for the employer. Your Excellency, the bill identifies eight, uh, eight agencies for purposes of implementing affordable housing, including the Ministry responsible for housing, the National Construction Authority, the, the NHC, as we know it today, our county governments and private entities as may be approved by the board. The bill has uh, accountability mechanisms which are anchored in it because it requires the board to come up with uh, annual and five-year programs which are to be presented to the cabinet and then to parliament for consideration and approval. Your Excellency, the bill requires the board to prioritize affordable housing for slum areas, 
and also has mechanism to ensure that there is no multiple allocation of affordable housing. It has a criteria for how people qualify to be allocated. To find that, Your Excellency, the bill requires the board to ensure as, as may be practical as possible that materials for affordable housing are done using locally sourced uh, materials. The labor is sourced from the local communities, particularly where the houses are being done. And finally, if houses are being done in places where there are TVETs or universities, that our students are given opportunities, Your Excellency, to, to intern there and also to do skilled and unskilled labor, Your Excellency. Thank you. Vellum copies are in six. Your Excellency, so that after assent, the bill provides the dates of commencement. Part of the clauses will commence immediately. The bill is published in the Gazette. And part of the clauses will commence on a date to be determined by the Cabinet Secretary in Gazette. There's a long bill, Your Excellency, with 61 clauses. 61, 61 clauses, Your Excellency. And the three schedules, part of which speaks to the manner in, in which the board will be conducting its affairs, and the manner in which the board will also be determining the allocation of houses. It is envisaged, Your Excellency, that some regulations will also be promulgated by the Cabinet Secretary upon assent and commencement of this bill. Our county governments, Your Excellency, have also been given a function in the bill by way of creation of county affordable housing committees in every county for purposes of advising the governors on their roles on their roles as established in this bill your excellency i seek your leave to join the rest thank you your excellency permit me now to invite you to affix the public seal of the republic of kenya on the statute pursuant to article 135 of the constitution which requires every presidential election to be under the hand and seal of the president. Permit me also to invite the six designated artisans to join His Excellency the President as he affixes the public seal.
tumpigie rais makofi kwa hiyo kazi One more round of Thank applause, you, please. I, I would now request all of us to retreat to our seat, except the CS Lance and the Attorney General and two designated witnesses. The rest of us, let us have our seats. Excellency, okay, it's okay. It's only his excellency, the president, who will open the, the law. The others, let us close. Yeah, like that. Thank you, Excellency. You can now retreat your, take your seat. Let me now invite the Cabinet Secretary for Lands, Public Works, Housing and Urban Development to progress the day's program. Welcome, Waziri. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, the Speakers of both uh, Assemblies, National Assembly and the Senate, who are here, the leaders of majority, Honorable Ichungwa and Senator Cheriot. Your Excellency, the Attorney General is with us here very senior members of the executive, the chairs of the committees that have facilitated us, the principal secretary for housing, Guanahinga, the principal secretary lads, principal secretary treasury, standing in for CS treasury, and also on his own behalf, the Attorney General of the Republic of Kenya, all protocols observed, Your Excellency. Today, we have a very unique uh, ceremony here, Your Excellency, 
Today, the 19th of March, 2024, is a very momentous day for us, a very major milestone achieved by the Ministry of Lands, Public Works, Housing and Urban Development, the State Department of Housing and Urban Development, Your Excellency, has received a lot of support from the National Assembly, from Treasury, and from other stakeholders. Your Excellency, I want, allow me to recognize the role the House of Parliament has taken and made in this particular achievement. Your Excellency, the chairs, various chairs of the National Assembly, that is the Housing Committee led by Kimani Kuria, the Housing Committee, Finance Committee led by Honorable Kuria, the House uh, Committee on Housing, John, Jonathan Yeno, they took us through a very laborious exercise to explain this bill. Of course, Your Excellency, we have come a long way, starting from the Finance Act and various sections that were taken out by the judiciary. Your Excellency, since that day, we have not rested as a ministry. We formed a committee that received input and participation by the National Assembly and the Senate. Indeed, I want to recognize the clerk of the National Assembly, Samuel Njoroge. He contributed some of the key uh, drafters of the National Assembly and also Senate. Your Excellency, Treasury gave us a member of the committee. I'm saying this because the participation of the various stakeholders, key stakeholders, have been critical and it has given us a very uh, good uh, template of working going forward. I want to say that the Treasury also gave us a member uh, in that committee, variable member. The Attorney General gave us one of his brilliant drafters and then the Housing Department and Nixon Coril also gave us a technical person from the lads. Your Excellency, in five days, we were able to come up with this bill. And I know, Your Excellency, that time, myself and Hinga, because of various state duties, we were working from outside the country. And I know that uh, we gave you a bit of uh, a headache because you could not understand how we have a serious exercise going on and we are outside the country, both of us, Your Excellency. But we have received the greatest support from yourself and your Deputy President and the, uh, the Prime Cabinet Secretary in terms of leadership for us to be able to arrive at where we are. Your Excellency, when the court uh, threw out the Finance Act, the journey for this bill started. We are there now where we are today and for you to gather us here today for the ascent, presidential ascent of this bill, bring us to another chapter, the chapter of implementation. Your Excellency, I will not speak much. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be very brief on the two points that are critical. That Your Excellency, when the Kenya Kwanzaa government took over, we found 8,872 units going on. Those units are in their, some of them are in their final stages, particularly those which are not technically giving us a headache. 8,872 units. I emphasize that because it's important. Currently, Your Excellency, we have 45,525 units under construction, Your Excellency, under your leadership. We have uh, already advertised for contracting purposes and tendering 48,988 units, which we should be taking off by way of signing the contracts in the next uh, one month, possibly one month, a further 48,000. That will bring us to a total of 103,385 3, housing units both affordable, social, affordable, and 
market rate houses. Your Excellency, you have guided, including the sizes of these units, the designs that the people are seeing out there have received a lot of your contribution. You have visited even without our knowledge in many of these sites. Sometimes you have managed to, you, allow me your Excellency to use the word sneaking, because you have even made sure that we do not know that you are visiting Kibira. The other day you visited Roiro, and I'm seeing through the social media you are in, that you are already at site. Your Excellency, my ministry is most grateful because of the leadership, the support, the critical input that you have made for us to succeed. Right now, Your Excellency, we have over 120,000 young men and women working in this site. We anticipate, Your Excellency, that by the time the, the balance of 48,000 units is put in place, Your Excellency, we should be having close to 300,000 young men and women working at our sites. So by signing this bill, assenting to this bill today, Your Excellency, you have opened doors for low-income earners to start earning. Our minimum wage, Your Excellency, is 600 shillings for the, the uh, casual workers and the artisans and others are earning between 1,000 and 2,000 per day. Your Excellency, every site has several women working because we have taken care of the gender uh, card. Your Excellency, with, the, the, with, with this project, we have also developed markets around the affordable housing. The ESP markets have been redesigned to cater for the extra population that have come. In every project, Your Excellency, we have to address the education uh, infrastructure around the projects. That is to say, with this fund, Your Excellency, we have opened new doors, new opportunities, and new hope for Kenyans. And we are happy that Your Excellency, notwithstanding the opposition, you have refused to give in to opposition, to negative uh, approach against this bill. And with that, Your Excellency, I want to allow me to call the Cabinet Secretary to say a few words before words before we can come here, and he will call His Excellency the Deputy President. These are some of our greatest supporters, Your Excellency. We do this part first. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. With your guidance, then, Your Excellency, I want to call you to stage. You will uh, be moderated with uh, your permission, Your Excellency. P.S. Hinga will moderate that session. I don't know. I cannot see him. Today he's allowed to sweat, Your Excellency, because this man has been uh, on site every day, in site every day. I remember you asking me whether I have the right shoes, Your Excellency. We have climbed the, 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 the trenches with the Hinga and yourself and the, the other members, including the members of parliament. Thank you very much, members of parliament, for making sure that you come. Hinga, you will moderate this session. Your Excellency, there are some artisans that will do this exercise with you. Makofi kwa His Excellency for the big job. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Cabinet Secretary. I'd like now to invite uh, the panelists, uh, you know yourselves, uh, kindly come forward. And as they do come forward, Your Excellency, I, I take note uh, of my overdressing for this occasion, but uh, it's because uh, uh, today I'm taking a different role uh, of moderating, so I'm like a journalist today, so I'm not Mpia uh, Karibuni. So we have with us, uh, Japheth Kaikai Kitela. Japheth is coming. We have Jacqueline Wanjiko Gashao. We have Meshak Musembi Mwimi. Uh, we have Anthony Manyara. Okay. Uh, we have Stanley Njoroge. We have uh, Peter Mwema. 
we have Obed Matongo. Obed, Karibu. And finally, we have Mary Wanjiko. Thank you so much. So finally, uh, allow me to invite uh, the master builder himself, His Excellency the President. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency. This is a conversation uh, that you're going to have with the people that represent a constituent that is very close and dear to your heart. This program is not about brick and mortars. This, con uh, this program is about faces, people, people that only look up to you as their hope because this country, the existential problem that we have is lack of jobs. And so, Your Excellency, as you converse with them, I want to give them the first opportunity to introduce themselves. And I want to start with Jafet Kaikai Kitela. Jafet Kaikai Kitela is a food vendor at Kibra uh, site. Um, he has formed a group of Kibera disabled uh, people, and they are making food and serving the construction workers. These jobs, Your Excellency, are not just the direct jobs on site. There are so many other jobs that are being created outside those sites. And lastly, Jafet is one of the people who are going to be the beneficiaries of those homes that are being built. So not only is he serving the people, but he's also watching uh, and making sure that they are on time because he can't wait to occupy his decent unit. Jafet, Karibu, and give us just some opening remarks and your own journey. Uh, your Excellency, uh, Abarizenu, mi kwa majina na Jafet Kaikai, uh, natoka Langata, Iris Ward, uh, Soweto Sides, kwenye kuna side kwenye kuna jengwa. Uh, mimi tuliform a group of disability uh, 2014. 20, 20, then uh, tulikuwa na tuna, tu, tu, we are 40 members we dis, uh, tuli subdivide the members for each group uh, for each team 10 members then wakati uh, project ilikuja uh, tuka 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 peana 10, uh, 10 uh, a group of 10 kwa side wale watakuwa na deliver wana peana chakula pale wana sell the food then uh, kuna groups zingine pia kuna ingine na manage a toilet kuna ingine pia tulisaidiwa na safaricom foundation tukapewa sewing machine so uh, katika hii project tuna benefit through the selling uh, food of which uh, kila group in a letter report quarterly so we are expecting by the end of this month uh, the report kutoka kwa hiyo group ya chakula yes Uh, labda Jafet unaweza tueleza kwa sasa hivi mahali unaishi yeah. uh, the conditions that you're living in and what is this hope that you una hold on to ili hizi nyumba zijengwe kwa haraka uh, kwanza president eko kwako sababu mimi nikiamuka huwa naona the side drive then nasema eh president wetu abarikiwe sana sababu sababu Sisi wakati tunaishi pale kwa nyumba za mabati wakati unasongesha kitanda tukigiguza kiguza mabati unasikia mwenzako pale side hiyo ingine anageuka kidogo anakuambia i'm still on so <laughs> so unamaanisha ya kwamba there is no privacy sawa sawa so it means uh, e project itasaidia sana 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 sisi wale mavu sababu gani eh, pale unapata tukio kwa mabati aku, there is no way unapata mtu anaweka wheelchair yake kwa kwa nyumba lazima aweche kwa barabara ndio aingie kwa aingie kwa vichochoro again wakati tuna move eh, kwa kijiji tukiwa na crutches actually we need a lot of space 
na pale unajua space ni kidogo so actually we accommodate uh, the project tulifurahia sana wakati hiyo bill ilipitishwa kama sisi wale mavu sababu tutakuwa na parking zetu pale uh, in my group eh, we have around 20 members who are beneficiary on this project so uh, so sisi kama wale mafu tunafurahia sana sababu ya hii uh, project thank Asante you Asante sana your excellency now I'd like to invite you to just have a conversation with Jafet Yes Asante sana bwana Jafet Yeah So umesema wanachama wako kama 20 wanajipanga kupata nyumba pale the beneficiaries umeanza mumeanza ku save mumeanza kumengia kwa boma yangu ama mnajipanga kwa njia gani kwa sababu mnajua lazima mjengo inaendelea kujengwa sio yeah na makadirio yetu ni kwamba katikati ya mwaka ujao hizo nyumba zitakuwa tayari yes. kama sio mapema yeah nyinyi mmejipanga vipi are you registered wa boma yangu mmeanza ku save pesa yeah. kwa sababu mtahitaji deposit kidogo ndio muweze kulipia ile manyumba ingine baadaye kama mimi personally nimeregister na cooperative eh? at least naendelea na ku save eh? but kuna others other members they are still registered yeah kwa hivyo tunajipanga tunajua vile munda inaenda tunaendelea na ku save at least hata si tufurahie kama wengine yes hapa kwa chakula yeah muna mnalipwa baada ya siku ngapi kwa mnalipwa kila siku ama mnalipwa baada ya muda uh, tunalipwa after two weeks tuna deliver the services then after two weeks tunalipwa yes bado kuna mtu wako na deni yenu sasa kule ah uh, najua sisi kama wa Kenya ni lazima pia kukuwe na baadhi yetu wako na madeni so uh, staki ku staki kuingilia sana uh, ujuzi wetu lakini kuna baadhi wako na deni lakini najua wata sort out <laughs> sababu sisi ni wale mavu najua uh, ni mbaya sana uh, mtu kukimbia na pesa yetu so una imani watalipa yes niko na imani sana bas wale wenye mko na madeni mnatusikiza tafadhali <laughs> muweze ku, kulipa madeni yenu kakai na wenzake hawataki maneno hawataki matata ni kweli so asante sana uh, thank you so much asante sana jafet uh, will come back to you your excellency the second person that uh, you're going to have an interaction with is jacqueline wanjiko gashao jacqueline wanjiko gashao is an electrician at our royal site uh, your excellency she has been an electrician for a while uh, but one of the biggest challenges that you are also addressing is what we call recognition of prior learning. She's, she's been an electrician uh, through practice, but she has not been recognized anywhere. So when opportunities come up anywhere, she cannot be able to put her name uh, because of the, she lacks certification. But Jacqueline now uh, has been certified on site by NITA uh, on grade two and uh, hoping for uh, better. Jacqueline, tell us your story. Okay, my name is Jacqueline Wanjiku Gachao and I'm currently working at Ruru Affordable Housing. Yeah, I started working there last year, July. That is where I got an opportunity after Nimi struggle sana na kufine job apo awali. Wengine wanani doubt maybe because I'm a woman but wakati nilienda pale, I was given an opportunity but by our foreman, and it was Musa. That's the man that gave me the opportunity. Akani, <laughs> that's the guy. Akani ambia, akani pay a chance, niweze kujiprove as a woman. Na ni ukweli, nilijiprove, nika work, na nikaweza kukua the person that I wanted to be in future. Yes, na pia amepia wanawake wingi sana pale opportunity, pia wajiprove. Yeah. Okay, what? Okay, can continue. <laughs> <laughs> Sasa ule pale ruiru. Ni mewai kutembea ruiru na fikiri marambili. Yeah, yeah. Sindio? Yeah. And you guys are doing a wonderful job. Thank you. 
I was amazed, you know, wakati nilikuja Ruiru ali ali last year yeah. kuanzisha hiyo mjengo. Ilikuwa ni you know uh, mahali tu plain. Lakini juzi nimerudi pale baada ya mwezi sita nimekuta mjengo 11 stories. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Na so pale kwa site uh, electri uh, electrician right yeah, electrician. electricians muko kama watu wangapi tuko 90 90 electricians yeah pale kwa site yeah na nimesikia jambo la recognition of prior learning yeah kwa sababu tulikuwa tumekubaliana kama serikali ya kwamba kuna watu wengi mm. kupitia kwa kufanya kazi wamepata ujuzi yes. ama wamepata skill yeah. either ya plumbing ya electrician ya painting yeah. ya uh, useremala ama carpentry lakini kwa sababu hawajaenda formal kwa shule yeah. hawana anything to show yeah. yani hawana certificate, uh, certificate yoyote yeah. sijui kama umepata usaidizi wowote kupitia hiyo program yetu ya TVET your recognition of prior learning. Have you engaged them? Did you uh, try and see how you can be recognized because you have a skill? First of all, I would like to say thank you. Do you nifuraisha sana? Yes, nime receive your saidizi, nime pata certificate. I'm waiting for the certificate, nime kona your results slip. Nime kuwa recognized sasa. Nime watu wa Nita wale ni assess. So watu wa Nita wale kuja waka kuwa assess? Yeah. Is there anybody from Nita here? Anybody from Nita? Okay, maybe they, they are not here today. Uh, they should have explained to us how many artisans have been recognized in this program. Like 200 of them at the moment. Yes. Uh, 200 of them. And some of them, uh, I think the uh, His Excellency, the Deputy President, will be presiding over their graduation. Ah. So they have the result slips, and um, they are part of the team that will be graduating. Very good. So, Kwa Pale Kwa Saiti Aruiru, do you know any other person who has been assessed by Nita? Kama unajua watu wengine ama ni wewe peke yako? Najua ni wengi. Juu alipea opportunities watu wengi sana. Watu watu wenye walikuwa nataka certificates wakawa assess. It was an open opportunity for everyone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kabla ya site yetu ya Aruiru, ulikuwa umewai kufanya kazi mali pengine. What opportunities did you have in the past? Okay. Previously, I was working kwa naenda kufanya hizi nyumba ndogo ndogo kazi na sometimes azipatikani kila saa, kila wakati. So most of the time nilikuwa home na shanga nitafanya nini, sina usaidi zineza saidia mtoto wangu. Yani nilikuwa tunateseka. But thank to the affordable housing kwa menipia that opportunity. And I'm working now. So I, I think this, as, as uh, Hinga said, this affordable housing plan is not just about mortar, cement, steel, stones, concrete. It's about people, real people. And it's about opportunities, real people like my dear sister here, Kwanjiru. Uh, yeah? Real people like my friend uh, Jafet here and all this, and 120,000 people like her and him in many places, in many sites in the Republic of Kenya. So congratulations, uh, um, Wanjiru. My deputy will be giving you certificates uh, shortly, formally, after you have been assessed by NITA to show that you have the skills. And next time you go to another site, you will now have a certificate to show that, in fact, you are a qualified electrician. Thank you. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, you have uh, told us a uh, time without number that we are spending over 600 billion shillings every year to educate our young people. And that the challenge that has been there is that once they finish their education, there was no plan on what they are going to do with their lives. Representing the young people here, 
I have Meshak Musembi Mumi. Meshak is a plumber at our Kibra site. He's 21, 29 years old. And just like Wanjiro, he has been mtu wa mkono. Kazi pale, na, hapa na pale, but without any certification. He has now been assessed as a grade 3 plumber by NITA uh, through recognition of prior learning. Karibu Japheth, share your story with us. Um, I'm Meshak. Sorry, Meshak, sorry. Yes, I'm Meshak. Thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, I'm a plumber from Kibera at working for Allied Plumbers Company. Before, I served as a member of a national youth service from 2018, a grand student 2023, March. From there, a lot of challenges searching for jobs. But when affordable housing came, and a chance to secure a job with it. Giving example, giving out this example of mine, there are a lot of youth who are going to serve a job. Now, wakati he affordable thing in Kuja, he said, bad yet. Wezi pata kijana, ametoka mtaa, ameenda kukaa hivyo bure. Lakini saa hile wakati pale site, hakona chazi ya kufanya job. For me, I can say that it's a chance that made me to be who I am. I'm a recognized plumber. When Nita came in, I did, they did the assessment and I was assessed. They have called us recently to tell us that there will be graduation this coming Friday, whereby we are supposed to go and get our certificates. Before, I went to Edoret National Polytechnic, where I did craft certificates in plumbing. So when Nita came in, they did an advantage to me. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, Meshak. So, unafanya kazi pale Kibra? Yes, I'm at Kibra. Nilikuwa pale juzi. Yes. Na naona mumesukuma kusukuma. Kabisa. Yeah. Yeah. Iyo site yenu uh, muko plumbers wengi, kuna carpenters, Ndiyo. kuna electricians, yes. kuna masons, yes. pale. Still fixers. Na kila mtu, eh? Yeah. Na still fixers, eh? Yes. Ama umeseba? Yes, still fixers. Eh, wako pale. Kabisa. So, na kuuliza, um, uh, Meshak. Yes, sir. Kwa sababu program hii ya affordable housing, pia inakupatia na fasi ya ajira, lakini bile bile unajua pale tunajenga social houses. Mm -hmm. Sijui kama umepata kuelezwa iyo social houses na vile unaweza wewe kama plamba uka save pesa hiyo nyumba ikiwa tayari wewe pia unaweza kununua uko na hiyo habari yes mm -hmm. yeah are you doing something about it yes we are planning and we have started doing it as the plumbers on site already yeah, yeah. so you are planning to occupy to uh, be part of the people who will occupy those houses those houses that are just there. so that i explain to you that um, because housing for a very long time was about big people, people who can afford, people who have uh, big jobs, or, or so they think. But this time around, we said, in the building of houses, we want to make sure that we are sensitive to the strata of our society. That the people at the bottom, yes. yule mtu wakawaida pale chini, ambaye hakuwa na matumaini yata siku moja, kuweza kuwa home owner, mwenye nyumba. Wengi wamezoea pengine uko, unalipa rent kwa nyumba ya mabati vile eh, kakaya anasema, pale cho, nishida, 
maji ni shida barabara ni shida hata stima kuunganisha ni ile ya eh si mnajua vile inafanyika hiyo maneno hiyo yeah. so na saa zingine inatupatia matatizo ina inalete madhara lakini sasa tumeamua ya kwamba pale kutapatikana na nyumba unalipa unalipa rent mahali unaishi eh, mesha kama shilingi ngapi 3000 3000 mahali yes. unaishi saa hii yes sir si ndio yes sir sasa kwa hii mpango itawezekana hiyo 3000 unalipa rent kwa nyumba ya mtu utalipa 3000 lakini itakuwa nyumba ambayo ni yako that is the difference we are making yes sir tunaelewana unaelewa hivyo Yes. Na ndio mpango yetu ni kusema ukisikia waziri amesema kuna categories karibu tatu ya ujenzi wa mwingi. kuna social houses ambaye mortgage yake itakuwa uh, 3200 na mortgage percent 3%. Mortgage yake ni 3%. Na tunatumia hii fund ku subsidize ndio mortgage yako ikuje 3% tutakuwa na mortgage ya 605 percent 6% kwa wale watu wa affordable housing na mortgage ya 9% kwa wale watu wa market rate saa hii mortgage katika taifa letu la Kenya iko 18 20% lakini through this program kupitia kwa mpango huu ndio tutaweza to create more home owners by making it realistic and possible kwa watu kama wewe Eh, meshak kupata uwezo wa kulipa shilingi elfu tatu na ni kwa sababu tumeondoa mambo mengi kwa program ya affordable housing tumeleta ardhi kama serikali tumeleta services kama serikali tumeleta um, eh, design kama serikali ile eh, pesa nyingi ilikuwa inatumika kulipa ardhi kulipa services sasa tumeichukua kama serikali ndio tuweze kufikisha home ownership kwa wakenya wengi zaidi kama vile Meshak na wale wote wameketi hapa na vile vile watu wengi wanatuambia pengine tunachukua pesa alafu tunasaidia watu category moja the good news is this 20% of the housing units will be social houses 50% will be affordable houses that means the people who are in the who earn 20000 and above they will have an, a 50% chance to own houses in our affordable housing uh, program and 30% will be the people in the middle class or the people uh, further up the ladder so in this affordable housing program there is a chance for every kenyan those who want bigger houses will have an opportunity to get it those who want affordable houses will have an opportunity to get it and those who want social houses will have an opportunity to get it many people have been asking us what happened to your mama mboga what happened to your boda boda i want to tell them our boda boda and our mama mboga are family in our equation this program will make it possible for a mama mboga who today pays rent at 3000 to pay 3000 and own a home in Kenya it will give a chance to a boda boda guy and every hustler in Kenya who today lives in a shack that has no water that has no electricity that has no access that has no uh, sanitation it's going to dignify their lives and they too like the rest of society can own a home and that is why i'm very happy meshak is part of our plan as a simple plumber that he also is looking forward to owning a home in a decent place uh, like all other kenyans so meshak yes, mimi naamini kwamba utajipanga na hiyo maneno tuko sawa kabisa eh tuko imara usini let down please hatuwezi eh hatuwezi wewe uzi pesa usichukue yote una save mm. kila siku kwa hiyo 1000 unalipwa nafikiri 1000 na kitu hapo 
Kwa hiyo elfu moja unalipwa chukua mia moja weka kwa boma yangu. Ndio. Pale mbele nitakusote. Asante. Sawa. Asante. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much your excellency. Um, the holy scriptures your excellency says that um, when I was hungry and I came to you you did not give me something to eat. And the person in the parable asked, but Lord, I didn't see you. Obed Matongo is a construction worker at our Mukuru site. He does work at the scaffolding. Obed, yes. Obed, anajua kulala njani nini, your excellency. This program, not only has it dignified him and able to provide for his family, but now he's looking forward kuwa kumiliki hiyo nyumba. I believe this commanded a very big blessing. Obed, tuambie venye hii mambo inaendelea uko mkuru. Wana asibiwe. Wana asibiwe tena. Niko na furaha sana. Kukucha hapa State House. Sababu Rais wetu Rais wetu ametualika. Na niko na furaha sana. Ninasikianga hii. Sasa naomba Rais wetu mimi naona wewe ni mtu wa kuchali. Wale wa kochini, huna matarao. Sababu kama umetualika sisi sisi watu wadogo mpaka tumekucha hapa. Mbona tusirutisha siku rani tabatari? Mbaka nimeona getas chawai muona. Naona vice president. Mutabat. Mwisimiwa. Sasa sindi kona pura. Sindi taruzisa sikurani. Kwa mwisimiwa. Wetu. Rais. Kwa tukutuleta hapa. Nikona pura sana. Hata uendere. Sasa. Kitu hile hiko. Nasema watu wa mukuru wanarutisa msuri sana. Wanasema kasi endere, kasi endere. Sababu ile maisha wanakaa huko. Hata ukikucha huko siwe chiapa nyumba ndio hii ya mabati inaweka kerere stima ni ile na chapa chapa watu hapo. <laughs> Sasa mi naona hii ajenda yako ya manyumba wakati ulianza hivi watu walifuraa sana kama mimi mtu wa wa kuweka ngasi hiyo ya kuchenga mie menisaidia ile kasi nilikuwa nafanya ni kasi ya kuusa mboga wakati ulianza hivi na ukatangaza hiyo kasi itaanza mimi nilienda nikauliza kazi msimuo wa rais nilipewa na nilikuwa nachuliza watoto wangu watasoma kweli saa hii hata hii pesa kidogo na sebu na nalipa school fees kidogo na ingine ya chakula hata maisha ilikuwa ngumu lakini wakati hii tulianza kufanya hiyo kazi at least yungu ilikuwa 220 saa hii imesuka eh hata nimesanga mimi na mimi kununua saa hii na chuliza naweza kununua ongwa kwa ni vifti Nasema rais wetu aendelee kazi. Na apewe time as aendelee kazi kabisa. Tunaona ukiongea sasa hii miaka ingine vitu vitaendelea mzuri. <laughs> Na tunakuombea. Sasa Obed. Yes. Pale we ni mkaji wa Mukuru, ni kweli? E, mukuru kwa lugha. So unatembea Mukuru unakuja hapo kwa mahali ya mjengo. E. Umefanya kazi hapo kwa mjengo kama miezi ngapi? Nini maana rasia mwezi wa sita. from last year mwezi wa sita. Yeah. umewahi kupata kazi ya kuendelea kwa miezi sasa karibu miezi saba. si sasa karibu miezi saba umefanya yeah. Na hata wakati ulikuja pale mimi yeah. tuliongea na wewe oh, ukasema ulikuwa... nataka hiyo uwanje ifurike yeah. watu niona karibu elfu mbili hapa na kweli nimeona hiyo hiyo inaendelea very good. Na tunaendelea vizuri. nimesema pale wakati nilikuja kulikuwa na nyumba sita ilikuwa inaendelea. Eh. Nikamwambia wizara sasa tuanzishe zile zingine. Eh. Hizo zingine sisi zimeanza. Simeanza hata simefika 
jana tulikuwa tunakorogea ya tano. Zile zingine zimeanza. Yeah. So, um, na watu wa kufanya kazi pale wameongezeka. Wameongezeka wako wengi. Yeah. Zai so, hata ukikucha huko. Mm. Hiyo uwanje imefurika. Imejaa watu. Na tunaomba tu hiyo kasi iendelee na ufungue kasi nyingine. Sasa yeah. mimi naovia. <laughs> mimi naovia vile nasomesha mtoto anaenda kufanya medical. Tayari na naona hii pesa niko na watoto wawili. Mmoja ako naenda form 1 amechoin. Na huyo anaenda sasa ameitwa hapa Kenyatta kwa medical. Sasa eh, sasa anaenda kuchoin. Achaitwa lakini ataitwa. So naomba hiyo pesa ikiunganishwa kidogo na mi naomba nipigwe cheki kidogo. Itaendelea <laughs> nitashukuru. <laughs> Bas ile eh, vile vile Obed amesema ni kweli eh, kwa sababu umesikia vile waziri amesema kwa sasa tuko na watu between 120,000 na watu almost 140,000 wanafanya kazi kama wewe Obed na hawa wengi, zetu wengine katika sehemu mbalimbali mijengo mbalimbali inayoendelea katika Kenya ile mimi nasikia wewe Obed ukisema ni kwamba tupanue ndio watu wengi zaidi wapate nafasi ya ajira. Ni kweli hivyo? Ndiyo, ndiyo. Na ndiyo umesikia waziri akisema tuko katika kukamilisha eh, project zingine ambazo zitatupatia nyumba 1048. Mm. Kufikia mwezi ujao. Yeah. In the next one month tutakuwa tume award 48000 units zingine. Sasa tutakuwa na manyumba 1000 mia moja ambayo itakuwa inajengwa katika taifa letu la Kenya in the next one month. Mm. Na tukiongeza hizo manyumba pia tunaongeza wale wanafanya kazi pale. Mm. Tunaongeza wale wanafanya kazi kwa site, eh, plumbers, electricians, watu wa kuweka eh, ngazi kama wewe, em, eh, electricians kama wanjiru hapa, watu wa kuuza chakula eh, kama Japheth. Wataongezeka watu wa kufanya kazi katika factory ya simiti wataongezeka watu wanaofanya kazi katika factory ya chuma wanaongezeka transporters wataongezeka watu wa kutusaidia kujenga e, milango kama hii e, kama my brother hapa na madirisha kama hii wataongezeka na biashara itaongezeka kwa wafanyabiashara wetu wa kuuza bidhaa mbalimbali katika taifa letu la Kenya so nakubaliana na wewe ya kwamba hii kazi tuongeze tupanue watu wengi wapate kazi si ni kweli na nia yetu Japheth ni kwamba in the next one or two months watu ambao watakuwa wanafanya kazi ni kama watu 1300 watakuwa wanafanya kazi hiyo unafanya na wengine wanafanya na mpango yetu ni kuongeza mpaka tufikie watu nusu milioni vijana nusu milioni Kenya by the end of this year kabla ya mwisho wa mwaka huu tutakuwa na vijana karibu nusu milioni wanaofanya kazi katika sehemu hii na ni vizuri umesema vile umesema ndio watu ambao wale ambao wanatoa eh, pesa zao kupitia kwa program hii wajue pesa yao inachangia katika kubadilisha taifa letu la Kenya mm. na inachangia pia kwamba wale walio na kazi leo wajue ya kwamba kupitia kwa fund hii na mchango wao kwa fund hii watu wengine wengi pia vile wao wako na kazi hata na we obed na wengine pia na wao wanapata nafasi ya ajira kulipa school fees vile umesema kwa watoto wao kujisimamia na kuweza kwenda mbele tunaelewana obed mimi nataka nikuulize yeah. wewe ungependa mbali na kupanua hii kazi ungependa ni nifanye eh, nifanye jambo gani zaidi ndio hii program uone kama inaendelea zaidi sasa nilikuwa nasema watu wengi huko kwa kijiji hawachachua kupile hiyo nyumba inalipwa sasa ningependa wachulishwe akitaka kulipa kama ni mia yake 
ile namba ataweka ndiye ingie watu wengi wanaichesa ndio sasa hiyo maneno ya sukumu mbele sasa bwana hinga yes, mimi nataka ueleze obed mm -hmm. na wale wengine wanatusikiza wanataka kujua mm -hmm. hii nyumba ya 1300 mm -hmm. na ingine ya kulipwa 1500 mm -hmm. ya ingine kulipwa 1000 mtu anajisajili namna gani na atajipanga namna gani ili aweze kuwa moja wapo wa beneficiaries yeah, mm -hmm. wa hizo affordable housing asante sana mtukufrais um, watu kama obed na wengine ambao wanataka kumiliki hizi nyumba Uh, njia ya kwanza ni ujisajili uende kwenye mtandao uh, ubonyeze kwenye simu star 832 hash naona umevaa jacket ya boma yangu uitakupeleka kwenye mtandao wa boma yangu ukifika pale ujian... utaenda kwa simu ubonyeze star 832 hash simeshika hiyo ndio haya baada ya hapo utajiandikisha alafu utalipa minimum shilingi 200 ukishalipa shilingi 200 na your excellency nilikosea niliko kwa sababu siku ku update part of uh, this law making is public participation and public participation is not an exercise of ticking the box one of the things that my committee uh, went through uh, was this issue of the deposit many kenyans everywhere they went they said they like the program but they can't afford the deposit so both houses agreed with them and so there is no more deposit that one is required to make so sasa ni lazima uwe ni first come first serve kwa hivyo ujiandikishe once uweke hiyo shilingi 200 peke yake alafu uchague mahali unataka kuishi so kulipa sasa kila mwezi kwa sababu hakuna ile ile, ile requirement ilikuwa ya deposit ukilipa every month ku save itakusaidia wakati utapata nyumba malipo yako itakuwa hata chini ya hiyo 1300 mm. eh, ambayo utapata pale mukuru eh, kwa sababu eh, vile tunataka kufanya your excellency ile shamba ni ekali eh, 55 tutajenga takriban nyumba 1015 pale So what we want to do is to move the people systematically in Mukuru. Tunawaondoa wanaingia kwenye hizi nyumba mpya then we redevelop the slum in Mukuru. And that's how we are going to turn that slum uh, into a place where people can live. Asante sana. So umeelewa Obed kwamba na ni vizuri tueleze wa Kenya wale wengine wote. And maybe it is an opportunity for me to ask uh, Um, either the chair or a member of the committee to speak to the issue of the deposit what was your what was your feel what was the what what did the people say maybe one of you your excellency asante um, number one on the issue of uh, deposit tuliposunguka during the public participation most of the people who attended those meetings were of the opinion that uh, we reduce or we studied case by case so that because when we talked about the 10% kuna wengi sana ambao wa afford hiyo labda watu kama wajua kali na wale ambao wanapata mshahara ndogo ndogo wakasema sisi tukiulizwa 10% itakuwa ngumu kwetu tupate so we agreed with them that we will look at it case by case kama wale ambao wako na mshahara mzuri wanaweza deposit 10% wale wako na kidogo hapo 5% wale hawana we also agreed that waongee wa na wale ambao watakuwa wanauzia so that we don't lock out so that we don't lock out um, the potential buyers that is actually what we agreed your excellency thank you thank you uh, yes uh, chair of uh, finance nafikiri wanasema usimame hapo nafikiri kamera zijui ziko wapi lakini i thought there are cameras all over your excellency also in addition members of the public told us that the marginalized people people living with disabilities youth and women will be disadvantaged if you follow that process and so we incorporated uh, a section of the bill now law that gave 
preference to women, youth, and persons living with disabilities. Juu ya hayo excellency Kenyans were worried ya kwamba wabwanyenye wataweza kununua hiyo nyumba zote wakuwe zao alafu waweze kuziuza back into the market kwa bei ambayo iko juu kwa sababu iko affordable. Na kwa hivyo tukaongezea kipengele kingine ya kusema one key pin one house. Kwa hivyo utaweza kuchukua zaidi ya nyumba moja. <laughs> na juu ya hayo pia Senate waka make amendment ambayo tulikubaliana nayo kama National Assembly ya kwamba hautaweza kuuza hiyo nyumba even after buying it so that this prevents people wale ambao wanaweza enda kwa kijiji wachukue watu wa bodaboda na wengine wachukue pin, pin certificate zao wanunue nyumba alafu waweze ku transfer back to themselves thank you excellency okay so nafikiri tumeanza sasa kunyorosha maneno na mimi nataka nishukuru bunge uh, hold on uh, karongo tumeanza kunyorosha maneno na ni vizuri and um, Uh, ata vile mahakama walisema turudie hii maneno walifanya vizuri kwa sababu walituambia turudi tupige msasa hii sheria vizuri sasa hiyo sheria tumeinyorosha kabisa na hata imetusaidia kuna watu walikuwa wamewachwa nje hawakuwa wanalipa hii eh, eh, sasa pesa imeongezeka zaidi so tunashukuru mahakama wametusaidia kutuongezea pesa ya affordable housing. Na vile eh, hawa viongozi wamesema kutoka bunge ile public participation vile eh, eh, PS amesema public participation is not a sterile provision in the constitution. It is a meaningful insertion to bring the views, the understanding, the ideas and the suggestions of people, Kenyans to speak life and to breathe into legislation regulation policy and other government programs in a very substantive and meaningful way and when the public said that the, the 10% uh, deposit was high i'm very happy that the senate has considered and now we have We are going to find a way around it that is not going to be a mandatory requirement for anybody to have a, a deposit of 10% and it will be assessed on a case by case and that is what the board which is going to be um, to provide policy direction to the management of the of the of the of this program is going to do so congratulations uh, members and also to the public for bringing their views to bear on this uh, piece of legislation. Karungu, maybe you can finally say something as a chair of housing in Senate. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. At the Senate, we listen to the public. Na walikuja wakasema, kuna wale hawataki kuishi town. Wanataka warudi mashambani, ndiyo wakalime. Wako na ardhi, wako na title wakaomba serikali badala kuwajengea town inaweza kuja pale mashinani iwajengee kanyumba mzuri pale na walipe pole pole tukakubalia hiyo na iko katika sheria tuka introduce tuka introduce kitu inaitwa rural affordable housing watalipa kupitia mortgage scheme na kila mtu atapata nyumba yake ndio pia watu wote wasikuje town hata wakulima wabaki wakiwa na nyumba mzuri. Asante sana rais. Thank you very much. Let's proceed. Your excellency, uh, thank you very much. Um, a lot of people saw me sweating uh, here in state house uh, when we were making this bill last year. But I'm not alone in this journey. There are some people that have real scars. Stanley Joroge is the chairman of the Settlement Executive Committee in Kibra. He's also working on site and he's one of the people that are waiting eagerly to own their home. When this process was stopped, Stanley mobilized his workers and they came to Toy Toy outside the high court. Uh, Stanley was arrested and uh, akaniambia uh, 
you know, he has some scar to show for this program. So there are people who have uh, real stories, uh, Your Excellency, uh, besides myself. Stanley, to ambie your journey. Your Excellency, nashukuru sana. Kwa majina ni Stanley, the chair wa settlement wa Jumeambiwa. Na mimi menyewe, mi ndiyo the real person mwenye na zasema, ni mefeel kitu yenye me change mtaa yetu. It is so shameful mimi kuangalia msea kipinga kitu yenye, inaza saidia mama pale chini, inasaidia watoto pale chini, na maisha yetu ya swa. Mimi hapo awali, na bado hata saitu naendelea na ikizu ni benye bado nyumba zetu wa zijaisha, tumeishi maisha kuteseka. Kila saa tu kisikia ui ui usi abulance ni zima moto. Imekamu kutuzimia moto, tumechomekewa, unarudi scratch, zero. Mvue kinyesha, tunashukuru sana. Tena inarudi na kuwa ndia kutubeba mafuriko, kutuingiza Nairobi damu. Tukirudi tena, tukimaliza hivyo, na kuambia yu excellency kwetu mta, as we are speaking now. Hakuna mtu watu wa miaka kumi, unaza mfundisha kuhusu sex, anaijua. Na hameijulia wapi, mta hapo ndani. Hiyo ndiyo bedroom, ndiyo sitting, ndiyo kitchen, ndiyo room ya watoto kuchezea. Kwa sababu mtaa, utasema kuna korido ama kuna kiwanja ya kuchezea. Mtachezea kwa nyumba ama mchezea kwa korido kainje. Cha mama, cha baba inafanyiwa hapo. You find that hakuna decency kwa slum juu ya hizo environment. Ukipata example kama venye nyumba zilikuja, si kwetu tulilan na, na the, nini, the FSA ya project. Tukona kweli ya watu wanaishi nyumba mzuri, maisha mzuri. Tulipokuja kuanziwa yetu, hapo ndio vikwazo zilikuja. Ikakuwa, oh, hatuwezi jenga, hakuna nini. Ikakuwa nikajuliza, kwa ni mtoto wa maskini, wakati ananda kuinuliwa, ndio hao matajiri wawa inawauma, ama inakuanga ni nini. Kwa sababu zao zikipita, hazinanga vikwazo. Zinakuanga ni yes, yes, zikipita. Zetu zikifika, lazima tuandamane, lazima tupigwe tear gas, Ndiyo haki yetu ifanyike. Your Excellency yu ndiyo kitu kwanza, mimi liniuma. Na nikasema, kuliko ni ito muizi. Kuliko ni pigo risasi na tupigo risasi na watu yetu tukuitua waizi. Wacha tuandamani tupigo risasi, tukitetea kazi. Kwa sababu ilifika mahali, ilifika mahali, tukaitua, tukambio kutoka leo, mjengo enyu chairman, imesimama. Kulingana na sheria imesemekana, housing levy kutoka tare 26, haikatwi. Serikali saa hii, haina pesa. Tulipumua. Tukarudi. Tukajua tumerudisho kwa street. The journey of a jungle. Kama ulikuwa muizi, endelea kuiba. Kama ulikuwa unatega, endelea kutega. Kwa sababu saa hii, pata ni mechenchi. Ulikuwa nathani umepata umkangazi kadogo, umetatemisho maramoja, rua, ilituuma sana. Na tukaungana, tukasema, wacha tutoke street, wacha tuandamane. Wengine wakasema, ah, munaandamana nini, hizi nyumba zetu wa ziuko affordable housing, ni sawa. But all in all, sisi kwa mind tulikuwa tumeambiwa na tunajua, the 30% ya housing levy, itakuja kusupport, hizi slam upgrading, ndiyo zenye saizi mechenyozi, na itua shoshu hausi nkwetu. Kwa hivyo si tulikuwa tunajua plani yetu, si hati tumetengwa, tumekeo mbaka percentage yetu ya kutuinua. Tulipo enda street, your excellency. Hey, tulikutana na video. Tumekuja mzuri, peaceful. Tumefika pale kwa maakama. Hakukuwa kuongelesho, hakuna kunini. Ya kwanza tulirushio tuli, tuli tiagasika atano katika tietu wote kwanza tutenganishwe. Ya pili likuwa ni kila mtu munagrabiwa mkichukuliwa. Wengine walikuwa chukuliwa status road wakingia na serena pale. Kwa sababu ni kimbio, kutoka hapa ilu na kimbio mbaka huku. Lakini tunafoto mbaka na nduthi za askari. Ndiyo wengi walishikwa. Na shukuru sana ofisi ya, ya PS na housing venye walifanya. Hatu kulala ndani. Wali tusaidia. Lakini bado, haikuwa suluisho. Kwa sababu bado ndiyo utatuachilia. Kesho tunamuka wapi. Tulisema kesho tutamuka bado tu. Tukuchoka, tukamuka. Sasa tukasema raundi ni kama waziri ni atusiki. Ni kama oni kilio yetu. Tulienda kwa waziri sasa. Tukawambia sisi waziri. Leo ni either tupate kazi, hama mtoke kwa ofisi. Hizi ofisi tunaona ni mingi. Hata sisi siya tituliandikio kuwanga watu wa mjengo. Tumesoma. 
ni venye chanza tujapata tumeamua kutumia hii chanzi yenye president ametuletea tujisaidie yenyewe waziri tulishukishiwa tukaelezwa tukaambiwa fanyeni hivi hata kama serikali haina pesa tutajua njia mbinu zenye mtafanya nime instruct developer wenyu murudi kazi tukitatua hii maneno yetu kwa ndani your excellence hapo ndo tulipata kupumua tukarudi mtaa tukajiformulate tukasema kama tumehakikishiwa hivyo sisi hatuna shida juaja yetu ni tuinuke kutoka chini tuinue hao vijana wetu wapate pesa ya kusave kwa, wapate pesa hiyo 10% ya kuweka kwa cooperative nikikueleza kuhusu kwetu your excellence naona kwetu tuko favored sana na tuko favored kwa sababu hii ndio mradi yetu malilianzia hapo kibera kwa hivyo sisi tuko na advantage kidogo kwa sababu kuna watu wa kuamini mradi inaweza kuwa lazima wakuje waamini kutoka mtaa wetu walipofika ilipofika kwa hiyo yetu cooperative your excellency sisi tumejikusanya chini hizo sekta A B C na D ziko na cooperative zao wanajiwekea pesa yao saa hii tunaongea cooperative zimeweka kama zone B tume register 2118 already wenye wamerejesa cooperative and as a chair nimewaambia endeleeni ku register wote after all tukishamaliza kufika hiyo target nyumba zetu tunapewa wenye walirelocatewa ndio wanarudishwa hapo kama first priority tupate nyumba zetu ndio at least hiyo maisha yenye tulikuwa nasema ati tunateseka turudi kwetu ile rent kwa nalipa pale ya ngiri 2500 ngiri 3 ngiri 3500 imagine unalipa nyumba ngiri 3 maji unaendea kilomita stima ndio hiyo ya waya waya unalipishwa 300 300 kila wakati nyingine 500 haya ndio hiyo sasa ukiangalia sewage mpaka your excellence nikakuja kujiuliza hawa na habari pia kuna venye unaenda unasikia news unasikia uh, katika mtaa wa mabanda wa kibira ai kitongo jiduni cha kibera ah your excellence tafadhali tulisema hata si tunataka kubadilishiwa majina si mtaa wa mabanda wa kibira kitongo jiduni maji ya maji majile maji taka na imagine ukiambiwa maji taka ndio yenyewe siweji zote za kibira zinakuja kumalizia hapa kibira chini kwa Nairobi dam so tukiitwa maji taka tunaona ni kama tumetenganishwa class tukiambiwa kitongo jiduni tunaona yenyewe sisi ni wale wenye tumefinyiliwa hatuna kitu but your excellency sisi watu wa islam tumeamua change watu wame save wamejikaza wanajua percentage yao yetu na ndio maana tumekuja kujua hii kitu dream ni ukweli. Hii dream ni ukweli na your excellency. Wacha nikwambie. It doesn't matter how a big tree it is. It can never be a co- called a, po- a forest. It needs other small small trees to be called a forest. <laughs> Nikimaanisha hivi na maanisha hii kazi si kufanya peke yangu kama chair. Niko na kamati ya watu 17 yenye tumekuwa tukifanya hizo enumeration tunawa nini tunawapanga wana relocate pande nyingine as we are speaking now tuko na units zinafasi jengo kibira 4054 members wetu wamekaa huko nje wanaziangalia wengine wanafanya kazi wa save zikiisha hivi hao ndio wa kwanza wanaingia so ningeomba tu kwa heshima your excellency viongozi wangu wako hapa wasimame tu wa wave kwa heshima wasiseme tu watu wangu nimewaacha sec wetu member sec members tafadhali tafadhali Happy members wake best tuwapige makofi wale members wa huyu mungwana understand yeah hiyo ndio team ilifanya relocation tuka enumerate watu wetu ka make sure ni watu wetu wa mtaa wakawekwa kwa data kila mtu akona kadi ya nyumba ya kuonyesha anangojea ya pili wakaingia waka make sure watu wenye wamekwa kwa cooperative ni wetu that's why tukasema sisi tunangojea nyumba iishe your excellency na ikiisha wacha sisi tuingie nyumba yetu hata sisi tubadilishiwe jina tukiitwa jina hata utukufu ya baraka nini tunajienjoy lakini kuitwa mtaa wa mabanda kitongo jiduni okay. <laughs> <laughs> asante sana tumpigie huyu mungwana makofi jameni i mean if anybody had any doubt that this housing program is about real people with real uh, concerns i think my good brother uh, stanley 
my good brother Stanley has made the point. It's about people who live in squalor. I don't know how we would feel when Stanley says children in those neighborhoods cannot be taught about sex at 10 because it is something they witness every day because of how those settlements are. As a country, we must dignify every family and every Kenyan. And this housing plan is about dignifying and creating dignity amongst each and every one of us. What is going on in Kibera is transformational. We are doing the first, uh, on the, where we are constructing now is how many acres? 4,054. 4,000? 4,054. 4,054 units. Yeah. That is uh, the phase uh, that we are in. Yes. We have already decanted another. Uh, we, are, we are in the process of decanting the next phase. Next phase, which is, uh, which about, is about 22 acres. We're, we're moving on to the 22 acres, and we, we want to thank Stanley and team for working with us to enumerate citizens. And it is amazing how Kenyans are cooperating. People who agree that let me move away, pay for me rent somewhere for a year, so that you can build these houses here, and they know that those houses will be occupied by more people than them, mm -hmm. but on the assurance that they will get the first priority for coming back to the houses that we are building. And I want to commend people like Stanley and your team for working with us in the communities to be able to create understanding in the communities that this project is not about other people. It's about them, it's about their children, it's about their families, and how we want to create dignity in our settlements. And for those of us who report, I think you have heard Stanley say, please, spare them Vitongoji Duni. I think uh, we're going to <laughs> change the name, and uh, hopefully we will call it, you said you wanted to call it Baraka or something, some, some Baraka estate or something. So I think that is uh, really uh, commendable, Stanley. And um, thank you very much for participating and making sure that we are kept on our toes, uh, making sure that we understand where you're coming from. This is about people who did not have a job. They don't want to go back to crime. They don't want to go back to the things that they have been doing. They want to continue working. They want to fend for their families. And I'm very happy, and we must also commend the media, I think I saw reports in the media when they reported that in Ruiru, for example, the crime rate had substantially gone down because of what was going on in there with our housing program. Positive stories like those give hope to many more uh, young people. Let me ask you, Stanley, finally. As you work with the communities, as we look at Kibra, because my commitment is that in the next 10 years, God willing, we will not have a slum in Kibra. We will have an estate. We, have, uh, we, are, we are working on the 4,000 housing units now. We have 22 acres that we are going to bring on board shortly. Then we will move on to the next. As we create the housing units, we will be moving the people from the slums into those units make sure that uh, we increase the social housing, especially in those areas, so that we can have more dignity for the people who live there. What do you think I need to do better or government needs to do differently? Do you have any suggestions on how we can make this uh, better? Do you have any, uh, anything you want to say that you think can be improved so that we can take this program uh, into the future? Okay. 
for the better understanding wacha niweke na Kiswahili mzuri ndio isaidie watu wengi pia your excellency according to what you've said and, and improvement for the future also mimi kikwangu nilikuwa naonelea hivi nikikupea na case study ya NYS NYS ilipokuja mtaa ndio ilitusaidia katuwekea lami katupitishia lami hatukuwa na lami ndio ilituwekea tule choo zenye tuliekewa hapo hivyo kidogo kidogo kutisava hapo hivyo but by the end of the day vijana walipokuwa nafanya kazi scandal likalipuka katikati ikaavu vijana wote wakose kazi mradi zenye zilikuwa zimeachwa nusu zika, zilikuwa zimeendelea zikaachwa nusu zikabidi zishie hapo na remember that uh, NYS ndio ilikuwa imetuletea mpaka huduma center Kibra katuletea hizo cho ikatusaidia kwa zile hygienic on my view hata wakati tulikuwa kwa public participation ukiambia Mr. Chair Kuria nilikuwa nimesema in order to safeguard this project na yende mbali let the money meant for the housing remain for the housing and free from corruption if you tame corruption everything will be okay hiyo ndio inamaliza hiyo ndio mdudu mbaya ndio inaanza project na ibaki imebaki kama white elephant kwame very good i think let's give him a clap what uh, stanley is saying this project must have integrity this project must be run and i hope everybody is listening it couldn't have been put better than what stanley is saying that this is public resources kenyans are committing their money through the levy for this program for the dignity of other kenyans so that other kenyans can have a job so that we can have decent housing so that we can eradicate slums so that we can increase the number of home owners in kenya not just for the people living in slum areas teachers doctors and everybody else will have an opportunity to own a home because we have substantially reduced the cost of homes in kenya our plan is to create minimum at least 2 3 million home owners in the short term so that we can have a country where everybody believes they own something and they are part of that ecosystem so i want to give you my assurance stanley as i do all the other uh, workers in the construction site and as i do to every kenyan who is contributing their money to the housing level levy i want to assure you that i will do whatever it takes and deal with whoever and protect these resources for the benefit of the people of kenya <laughs> that i will do and i want to give a warning right from here listening to stanley please anybody involved in this program if you just step offline it's not going to be business as usual so integrity 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 it is this program must be corruption free we have agreed on everything we have even agreed on the quantities we have agreed on the costs and like in the past when costs move from here to there and run ran all over the place hinga you know we we already agreed how much is going to cost yes we did and there will be no escalations and there will be no issues so uh, stanley and all the other kenyans we've listened to you integrity is going to be front back center left right to make sure that this program succeeds thank you asante sana uh, thank you so much your excellency um your excellency affordable housing is not synonymous to poor quality these kenyans that are contributing towards this levy expect high quality finishes seated right next to me is mary wanjiko Mary Wanjiko belongs to an organization called Build Her. She is a skilled carpenter and a joiner. At the moment, she is supervising over 20 employees. When we launched Starehe Affordable Housing, 
you had an opportunity to sample the quality of their work. And I can attest it is high quality work. And I want to say, Your Excellency, that women are not a footnote in this program. We honor the women in construction. Mary Wanjiko, tell us your story. Your Excellency, uh, thank you for the opportunity. Komajina uh, Mary, ya nani me kuwa alumni wa Bilha over three years' experience. Uh, ni mengi ya kwa isekta ya ujenzi baada ya kugraduate from Bilha. Nimefanya kazi tofauti mingi sana za site. Tumekuwa tukipitia a lot of challenges. Uh, tumekuwa tukipitia sexual harassment. Tumekuwa tukiwa discriminated na kuwa pia underrated. Na hivi karibuni tumeona vitu zimeanza kubadilika pole pole na tumeona wanawake wengi wameanza kuingilia kwa hizi sekta. Uh, tuko na engineers, uh, tuko na architects na kwa muhimu sana kwangu tuko na skilled artisan kama welders, painters, carpenters ambao wako ndani na tunafurahia sana. So mimi ni ruhusu kidogo ni wapejani yangu. Aya nilianza kazi ya kuandikwa kwa hizo sekta za ujenzi. Nikafika mahali nikafungua my own workshop for a period of one and a half year. But mambo ikakuwa ngumu kwa sababu nilikuwa na watoto high school. Niko na inanirudisha nyuma kidogo kwa sababu watoto walikuwa wanafukuzwa shule nini nikao kutafuta kazi. Nimefanya kazi kwa muda wa miezi sita. And in the period of six months, nilikuwa nafanya kama uh, maintenance and repair officer. But last week, on Saturday, three days back, I was promoted uh, to a technical coordinator. So, si raisi, na traifia ku pass this information kwa wanawake wote ambao mko hapa, Si raisi na si ati hatuwezi. Sisi wanawake tunaweza na tunataka your excellency utujaribu kwa hii miradi ambayo ni ya ujenzi tuweke kama mafundi si kama watu wa mkono watu wa kubeba maji but kama mafundi na to prove the nation that we can and we are capable kwa sababu si wanaume wengi ambao wanaamini kwamba wanawake wanaweza si wanawake tunaweza Asante. Asante sana Mary. So um, katika program ya Bilha. Bilha. Mm -hmm. eh, training. Yes. Alafu mnakuwa skilled, alafu mna so kwa mjengo saa hizi. Bado mnaona kama kuna ubaguzi vile umesema, unasema mnakuwa underrated na kwa discriminated alafu kuna shida ya sexual harassment ungependa tufanye nini tofauti ndio tuweze kuhakikisha kwamba kina mama ambao ni 50% wa um, wananchi wetu wa Kenya lakini ukienda pale kwa site ni 10% ama wakizidi sana 15 20%. 80% ni wanaume. La lakini Kenya ni 50% wa mama na wanaume. Ungeona tunaweza kufanya nini tofauti ama zaidi ndio tuweze kuchangia kina mama pia kupata riziki kupitia um, kazi hii ya affordable housing ama ya housing kwa jumla. Okay. Ya kwanza ambayo mimi ningetaka uh, iwe kwa into practice kwa hizi ujenzi kwanza ni tukuwe na separate changing rooms ya wanawake na wanaume with that tutaweza ku overcome challenge ya sexual harassment uh, ya pili ni pia to involve more women wakuwe included kwa uongozi na pia kwa hizi kazi kwa sababu wakati unaenda kwa site unapata a woman is a leader ama yeye ndio supervisor ama foreman utakuwa wewe kama woman uta feel more encouraged that kuna mwanamke mwenzako ambaye ako pale juu na pia wewe ungetaka kufikia hapo 
so mk involve more women on these sectors itakuwa a big up for us thank you very much mary tumpige makofi we mary amesema two things very critical and i hope uh, the board that is listening wherever they are and the ministry will provide guidance yes. kwamba pale kwenye site to the extent possible we must have separate changing rooms correct and uh, so that we protect and even separate toilets so that correct. we protect women from unnecessary um, harassment mm -hmm. and number two we must mentor more women i think listening to her that's what she's say we must give more women a chance we must give more women an opportunity and women must also wajiamini pia vile mary anajiamini si ndio wajiamini pia ndio waweze kuingia katika hiyo space kuna mungwana mmoja anaitwa musa ako pale nyuma na tumemsikia ya kwamba huyo bwana amesaidia sana kuwapa nafasi one wanjiru here is a, is a witness musa Ebu tueleze kidogo ni vipi tungechangia kuhakikisha kwamba na wewe kama mtu ambaye ni supervisor kwa site utenda kazi wa kina mama eh, ungependa tuseme uko na maoni gani uh, kwanza nashukuru sana kupata hii fursa jambo ni moja kila mara wakati tunapea kina mama nafasi huwa anahakikisha it is 100% done Yonje jambo moja. So, mimi upenda kufanya nao sana. Katika uh, wakati president alikuja kututembelea, alipata tikiwa na wengine. Walikuwa na wanafunzi. Walituonesha kwamba wanaweza kuitimu na kufanya hiyo kazi. Sasa tunapoongea, Jack ni mmoja wao hapa. Kuna mwingine pia tumetembea nao, wanasimamia upande wa stima. So, Mr. President Mi naweza sema upande wa kina mama ni kwamba hao wenyewe wamejituma kuonyesha kwamba wanaweza kufanya kazi kwa asilimia moja bila kufanya. Asante. Thank you very much. Two things nikisikiza Musa Musa anasema pia kina mama mjitume. Si ndio? Musa anasema kina mama mjitume na mujiamini. Na pia Easy courses zote pale nyuma watu walikuwa wanafikiria kwamba course ya plumbing electrician painter welder seremala ni ya wanaume ama ni ya watu wa chini mimi nataka niwaeleze ya kwamba kazi ni kazi ile inakuwekea riziki ndio kazi so na wauliza vijana kina mama hasa wajitume wachukue hizo course wachukue example ya Jacky hapa na wale na Mary hapo na wale wengine wajue ya kwamba hii kazi inawezekana ifanyike pia na kina mama asante sana thank you very much your excellency there is one uh, attribute your excellency that you have which is that you don't keep grudges and uh, irrespective of what people did and said to you, you have put that in the past. There is a young man who has become your ambassador for affordable housing program in the universities. Um, I will let him uh, speak for himself, Anthony Manyara. Um, your Excellency, the tragedy and sometimes when we are having this conversation about housing, sometimes there is a very big disconnect. Because sometimes we ask ourselves, do we all live in this country? Today, majority of our students live in slums. They, are, they, are, they live in slums to go to the universities. And they are facing all manner of challenges. A lot of illicit drugs and so on and so forth. So, this, because of this program, one of the things that our committees have instituted is what is called institutional housing. We will now build many more student hostels so that students can live in campus, study in campus, and in dignity. Anthony Manyara, over to you. Thank you so much. Moshimiwa uh, Rice, my name is Anthony Manyara. I'm the president for Kenya University Students Organization, KUSO. 
I'm also the president of East African Students Union. That is uh, the umbrella body for all university students across East Africa. Um, I'm an architectural graduate, um, but I'm pursuing law as a second degree. Ile wakati ambayo ulikuwa nafanya PhD pale University of Nairobi, I was the president of SONU that time. And I believe along the corridors mahali tulikuwa tunapatana. That time, if you remember very well, I had more security more than you pale university. Um, wakati tulikuwa tunapatana kwa hizo corridor, I remember that uh, wewe huku unaishi hostel. Lakini, najua ukipitia huko ulikuwa unapata wanafunzi wanaishi in areas that people of today cannot contemplate a uh, student living. We normally say that uh, comprehends and barometers of wisdom and catheters of knowledge. We want to see a scenario in which students live in decent places. And kidogo nitachanganya na siasa ndio ni kueleza barabara ambayo tumekuja when wakati wa the previous government the university students were very much associated with the opposition. And it came across even, uh, it, it, it spilled over even in your leadership. But we had a pact. We talked with P.S. Hinga. We had talked with the former minister who was there for, for housing. And we decided to see how our students can live in places that are not just decent but uh, safe. Ukienda kwa mahali penye wanafunzi wanaishi saa hii utapata wanaishi kwa slums utapata hostels let's take for instance university of nairobi we have uh, let, me, let me take just an example of mamlaka hostel ukienda pale mahali wa, wa, wanafunzi wanaishi still the spaces are too small and some universities the issues are even worse what are the risks that we we see subjecting to students when they live outside the universities we see issues of rape we see a lot of killings kuna wanafunzi wanaibiwa bags zao all these issues that are associated with uh, this matter led us because i remember very well uh, i was nilikuwa ile mlengo wengine ya siasa but uh, wakati ps hinga alinipigia simu akaniambia president amesema instead ya kushinda mmefunga barabara kufanya maandamano sijui nini kuja tufanye tuone namna gani tunatafutia wanafunzi nini eh, nafasi i I remember very well, uh, Mr. President, that we, when we talked with P.S. Hinga and he decided to uh, appoint me as the ambassador for affordable housing plan, that time we, had, we were doing the public participation for finance bill. And after realizing the kind of changes we can make, can we make a, an agreement between the, university, the Kenya University Students Organization? We see how students can be incorporated, leveraging on the affordable housing plan we have affordable student accommodation. Juzi, because tumeanza kufanya tours, nimeenda pale eh, Kisi University, for instance. Nikapata ya kuamba kuna groundbreaking. Wanafuzi kama walikuwa na hostels eh, 600, because they are around 600 thereabouts. And they want to increase them to a number of uh, more than 3,500. That tells you very many students who are housed outside will be able to be accommodated inside. That is a big impact going forward. Thank you. Asante sana, Anthony, and uh, thank you very much for working with us. Kwa sababu hii program, ni program ambayo, when we talk about affordable housing, it cuts across. Part of what this program is going to deliver is student accommodation that is affordable. Our students today live in very difficult circumstances. They live in indecent slum areas with all manner of challenges as has been explained by Anthony, uh, rape, uh, you know, theft, you know, uh, harassment. Um, I, I was, for example, in, um, in Bukura, and the students were telling me, even to walk to the, where they live, we needed to put lighting because there were instances of harassment and, 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 and theft and many other areas. So I want to commit 
to the student fraternity that under this program, we are going to have a serious rollout. It is already underway on student accommodation that's going to be affordable, decent, and is going to be uh, revolutionary to make sure that our students have a place to stay. And um, Hinga said about uh, the past, you know, it is only fools who don't change their minds. Or so it is said. I mean, we may have been in different political formations, but that is yesterday. Today is a day for us to come close ranks and do that which benefits the people of Kenya together. And having alternative opinion enriches our national conversation and brings out the best in all of us. So uh, Anthony is, uh, I, 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 I came across Anthony the first time in Bomas of Kenya <laughs> when he said that I was pushing a 16th century, um, <laughs> that's my, that's Matere, Matere, oh, they were in the same group with Matere. <laughs> so, but uh, they, they now realize that uh, uh, this is not about a 16th century equipment. This is about real people. This is about real opportunities. This is about real chances for all of us to move our country to the next level. So, Anthony and your team, and Matere and all the other people, I want to tell you that in our equation, everybody has a role to play. Thank it doesn't so matter much. which side of the political divide you come from. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And in wrapping up, Your Excellency is a, a good friend of mine. In the year 2018, when we did Park Road uh, development, we say that this affordable housing program, uh, Your Excellency, is not about four walls and a roof. We have, we have, okay, so, um, we, we do have Kenyans who know how to make doors, Kenyans who know how to make windows. The biggest challenge, Your Excellency, is that between them and the owner of that door, are many brokers uh, who make more money than themselves. And we decided to take a chance on them, and we gave them a contract of 122 million shillings to make the doors at Park Road. Let Mr. Mwema take you through his journey, and he's the last one, and because uh, we, are, we are wrapping up, Your Excellency, after that, I will not come back. I will ask you to uh, sum up uh, this uh, program. Thank you very much. Mr. Rais. Contractor. Because already contract ilikuwe chapatiano. Contractor before akwa ataka kufanya na jisa hana, laki badaya alikumbali. Na akawa mzuri sana. As we right now, we are talking here. Tulivanya miaka mitatu, uh, I remember one time, kulikuwa na shinda kwa site. So we had to go home. Tumeambiwa tumeshindwa na kazi. Because wale wa mjeji wa tupokonye kazi. Uh, kwa na BS, that time, kwa na BS inga alikuja kwa site. Na tukaitwa kamiti yangu, tukachitaki wile makosa, tunafanya. Lakini tuliwambea, atunjui, uh, lakini wakati ilipika uh, wanjanje kuamua, wana PS. Tulisema zaza anatuambia tutoke, lakini aliokea kitu ambao itatoka kwa roo yangu, na nikampenda sana. Aliwambea contractor hivi, atukatai maneno yote, hata nyui kwenu mulifundishwa kazi. Lakini nawambia kitu moja. Hata mulete yo milango, mzuri anji, kutoka China, kutoka wapi, atuta ichukua. Free for nothing, atuitaki. Hawa ndiyo mutavanya kasi nao. That day, that day, mchaina, 
Nakumbuka contractor alipigia simu saa sita usiku akaniambia ambia group yako tukutane saa moja saa 12 kwa site. Na akapanilika ile training tulipewa na mchana pale ya kufanya usiku na mchana wengine hatu kwa tunajua mambo mingi. Naweza kusema after hiyo contract tulifanya kitu ya maja wakati wana rais uliingia na tukaona biko tulikuwa tumeonja hiyo pesa kabla hadi chekinja ingia ikasimama sasa tukasema tume sasa kazi imepotea tena biko tulionja hiyo tamu ni mzuri ukweli tukao hiyo pesa hatuna tunataka kujenga na hakuna site wakati uliingia tuliona maajabu ukitangaza kama nyumba sikanjengwa na kwa vile wale wanjui kama kasi ni mzuri eh, <coughs> wakati ulitangaza ya kwanza tulifurahia sana na tuka tukaandikia PS barua tukamwambia tumejipanga na akatuambia sasa si hapa Nairobi peke yake lazima hii ujumbe yote mlivanywa pale iende Kenya msima mali kuna njengwa actually tulivanya hivyo mzuri sana anda musea uh, anda entry iridha wa musea ndio anafeti mavundi wote makapenda ndio anatupatia sasa hii ndugu ameongea hapa nimempatia technical team ambao wanatrainiwa kwao sasa hii wale watavanya hii milango ndiyo inaenda huko huko kibira this one na huyo amechukua amenipa makapenda tumempatia watu wetu wa training wa national tumejiunga kikundi kubwa sana kutoka kwa sub sector ya national uh, njua kali of Kenya ambao CEO wake akwa hapa simame huyu ndio mkubwa wetu wa njua kali bwana Richard Mutati tuko na timu kubwa watu wote wa national msimame msalimie rais mabundi wote pia msimame wale mmepika hapa hii timu yote unaiona hapa wengi tumefanya no packrot na wengi tumewatuma kila kila mali juice tumeitwa na MD wako wa National Housing akatuambia anataka tumusaidie huko 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 nyumba sao na njengwa sasa hii ametupa kazi Kirinyaga Mombambei tunawasimamia huko na embu mabundi wetu technical wanaenda huko tunapanga na yeye vile wataenda huko because why we are doing this we are giving our brothers and sisters ile shinda tulipitia pale attract wapitie na nakwambia kitu ya kuchangaza sana wanawake watai kuachwa nyuma wamenjipanga because walikuwa wananiuliza chairman tutafanya kazi kani eh hii milango unayoona hapa hii imevanywa na wanawake sio kana madam karaya yako ameingia huyo madam hii milango ndio wamejiunga kikundi kubwa sana wanatengeneza milango wamesema muindi apati kazi ya milango hii yote inakuja site inaundwa na wana, wanawake wetu hapa Kenya hiyo hiyo unayoiona hapa eh, ile iko pale ndio tunaweka ruiru hiyo pia hao kikundi ya wanawake wa ruiru wakishikana na hii technical team ndio wameunda hiyo watu wetu tumetrain mavundi wa ruiru na nikwambia kitu moja raisi sisi national ni kutrain atu ingi vile wanasema atu ingi kasi yao chama ni wa ruiru wako hapa ainuke asalimie asali rais wanamuridhi unaomuona pale ameomba national imupatie eh, technical team hako nao kwa site mzuri sana ile milango ndiyo, ndiyo contractor amekumbali hii milango tumefix tumefix plo ine saa hii huko ruiru kazi inaendelea ni inspection huko last week na nataka bwana vs na ende aka inspect lakini tuko na kisungu mkutu <laughs> tunapata shida bwana president na hiyo mpaka utusaidie sasa mimi nimeongea tumeshock au mabundi wetu wanaofanya kazi especially macapenders na <coughs> na our elders na fitters tunaenda nyumbani bila pesa why am saying this uh, developer anatupatia contract tunaelewana mzuri sana anatuambia eh ana pesa we weka tukienda kwa hizi bank zetu wanatungojea pale kwa office watuambia umekuja hii na unajua hii mambo yako anafurahia sana ile interest wametupatia Mr President kusema ukweli au watu ukiwauliza wako pia tuko na njia because tunalipa interest tukilipa other things tunambaki kamkati ni kidogo tunapeleka nyumbani so wamenituma hata nikiwa waambia president atutafutia kama ni asla pant vile tunaweza delipa e cash tumbaki na kitu because 25% 21% banks za Kenya zinatumiza sana iko banks moja equity imetupatia product nzuri Kenya mzima CEO wake bwana Mwangi but you can go there pia iko juu because hiyo ndio yako china 19% although reducing tuko na kampuni moja imejitokeza kwetu as national na wizikize mzuri tononoka imetwitter ikasema sio <coughs> alikuwa huko ikasema 
yeye anatupatia clinic facility ya Ninde Days. Anapeleka chuma Kenya mzima kama anapeleka Rwanda wapi si hapa Kenya. Tupanye partnership tupanye na yeye. Tukamwambia naona tupatie ile price mnataka. Na by the way ametupatia hiyo anatupatia at least hiyo tunaona at least kamkati kana mbaki kidogo. Eh, pale kibira huyu mzee ameniambia mavundi wa qualify. Tunangojea contractor alete sign up bwana bwana PS muskume sana because he is going slow kutoa hiyo contract na hawa zao na ngonje sisi tumebanya part yetu sasa muskume sana aiweke kwa meza huyu jorosi lali ananiambia mabundi wa makapenda wanaona wenzao akibanya kazi sasa nao anataka kufanya ni tutakuwa na this this site tumepanga na yeye next week ndio tuhesabu wale mabundi wote wamepetiwa na mzee ndio waza waingie kazi wafanye kazi sisi kazi yetu kuangalia kazi ukienda pale ukishika mlango ndirisha imewekwa hivi na na hii asla nation yako niona hapa lakini please present to say hapo kwa interest tumeumea sana hakuna mkate nyumbani Asana sorry sana. excellency akwambie <laughs> sasa akupatie tu hiyo story ya KRA kwa sababu walikuwa na hawako wanalipa ushuru <laughs> lakini okay, sasa okay. wanalipa ushuru ilikuwa ni vesau la story ya pale Pakrat <laughs> eh pale Pakrat wakati tulipewa kazi ya 122 tulisema kwa vile tumebewa na serikali hii mambo ya ushuru hatunjui KRA katuambia tulipe ushuru tukandinda tukwambia hii mambo mnatuambia tutai kumbe tunahesabiwa tu tunahesabiwa wakati wakati tuko kumaliza tuliandikiwa mabarua uh, mimi na chama ni wangong chama ni wakamkuji tukaambiwa twende kwa ofisi ya KRA wakati tulienda pale tuliwaambia mambo mnatuambia tujumu kaambia mtaenjua leo kumbe kwambiwa tumejua leo pesa yetu ile tumelipo ya mwisho 26 million wamekamata yote wakasema hii amutoi imagine hiyo siku ndio tulinjua tuchesi na kulipa ushuru hiyo tukiambiwa KRA kwa hapa tuambia kuja tukupe yako tuachane na sisi because alisema alichukua bila tulikuwa tumepanga tukawe pesa mabundi wapate 16 16500 yote akabeba siku moja na tuambia niliwaambia mlipe mkakataa nimewakamata because aliandikia hizo benki zote barua mahali account yetu iko ikamatwa kutoka hiyo siku hao wanajua hao mabundi wote hakuna mtu anacheza hata sisi tunaangalia tukikupatia kazi kama 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 ulipi ushuru tunakwambia we ruti kwa mzee ukakufanyia interview tena because tunataka kuona certificate yao tutaki shinda na KRA na tumekuwa ma friend sana eh, pale parkrot mnaona tulisema tuliambia PS atotoki atuwezi kunjenga hapa tutoke tutoe kwa mambanda na skill story wanajoroa ameongea hapa because tulikuwa kwa mapanda mahali alituokota huko huko madhare ati size tunaamka mahali mzuri pale parkrot sisi hatukujagi ngari na town kuruka tuko na bahati sana rais tunakuja hapa tunaingia town tunaja shughuli tunaruti kwa nyumba hapo tukiwa town naona kwangu so tulipaitika uh, watu 45 why hao watu wote wanaona rais wote wamesay pesa tumeenda kwa ps na tukamwambia tumelipa kwa mboma yangu na tuna save huko lakini iko kitu tutupanga na yeye atupatie allocation ya watu wakawani na amekumbali sasa sisi tuwekewe 10% na tunakulipa yote hao watu wote wamechanga pesa mali wanafanya kazi wanaweka pesa ya kukaa kwao because wanaona video tunakaa parkrot na wako very happy mkikataa nyumba mnyue mavundi wangu wote Kenya Musima wamenjipanga wanachukua hizo nyumba asante sana haya <laughs> Sawa bwana Mwema. Um, mambo tu mawili ambayo ningetaka pale mbeleni utenda kazi wenu ulikuwa na matatizo. Ile quality ya vile mlikuwa mnafanya. How has that improved? Are you bado mko pale ama mume mumebadilisha mambo? Mambo yetu ilibadilika wakati tulifika site uh, to year 18 pale parkrot wakati tulikuja na machine setu contractor alisikata and the contractor baadaye wakati tulikuwa marafiki alisema saa you guys naonyesha machine za kufanya kazi na tawasaidia kutoka kwetu mali zinatoka hii vitu mnatumia simevitwa na wakati kama ile kabiru tukao watumia ile eh. akatufundisha kutumia ile electronic ukiweka hapo na nyule kitu ni mbaya kulikuwa na siku ya kwenda kuangalia because tulikuwa tunafanya kwa site huko kwetu uh, tulikuwa tunaenda kuangalia na yeye uh, workshop tatu sote ngong kariobangi na, na, na kamkunji siku ya wednesday kila wiki 
akiweka hiyo piro yake hivi anajua ni wapi pambaya anasema tu correct hapo hii milango ya ambao akatufundisha vile kuitengeneza na kuvinya mzuri then tukafundishwa ku set pale wakati huu tulikuwa tunafanya vitu reja reja sana vitu ambao ukiona inakata sisi kuna angalia ile vitu tulikuwa tunatengeneza wakati huu hawa tenja tulikuwa tunawapatia vitu bob sana lakini sasa hii kitu ikitoka kwetu inaangaliwa kabisa we have a very technical team ya watu wa kuangalia inspection yetu kabla 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 developer anja pika pale developer hata sasa hii hawezi kusema kitu yetu tumeweka watu wanapitisha hivi very good and i think that goes to what uh, ps was saying affordable does not mean poor quality and the capacity building that has been done on our juakali sector pale nyuma walikuwa wanatengeneza ile tu kuharakisha hata unasikia mwema mwenyewe anasema kweli tulikuwa tunafanya makosa wale wateja wetu tulikuwa tunawapatia vitu substandard lakini leo kwa sababu ya program hii ya affordable housing vile tulisema ya kwamba wale contractors tumewapatia kazi wakijaribu kuleta watu wao tunawaambia hapana hii kazi itafanywa na wakenya itafanywa na mafundi wa Kenya dirisha itafanywa na mafundi wa Kenya milango itafanywa na mafundi wa Kenya ile kitu watafanya ni kufanya kazi na wao to improve the quality of what they are doing so that it meets the standard of the construction and because of we insisted the contractors were trying to say the juakali people are doing substandard work we told them it is your responsibility to train empower build capacity of the juakali sector so that they develop the standard products we are looking for and i want to commend the juakali sector they have upped their game mwema now says even them they appreciate that they are now doing very quality um, uh, uh, doors, windows, uh, hinges and other facilities. Ni kweli bwana Mwema? Ndio unaona milango kama hii na watu wanafikiri tumeleta hii milango hapa kama sinema. Hii milango ndio inaenda Kibera. Hii milango ndio inaenda kule Ruiru. These are real doors built by real people. Na wamesema ananiambia wametoa kwa site kuja kuweka hapa ndio watu wajue they are now doing good quality stuff and we have managed to improve uh, what, they, what they are doing. Number two, uh, Bwana Mwema, katika hii uh, program yako ambayo unafanya na uh, mafundi, umeniambia ya kwamba mambo ya interest inawaletea matatizo. Na lakini pia hapo umesema uh, kwamba na nyinyi pia mnachikaza kuhakikisha kwamba mafundi wenu na biashara zenu inalipa ushuru sinema hiyo which is very good na sasa hapo kwa interest amuna kesi sasa na gari <laughs> so pale sasa kwa interest uh, tulikuwa na mambo kidogo lakini nimekusikia tutaketi chini kama serikali tuone how do we assist you the same way we are assisting the contractors on making sure that we moderate the costs ndio muweze kupata pesa nafikiri hinga and your team umesikia vile wamesema watu wa treasury wamesikia tutaketi chini we will come back to you on what we can do to help you out tume tumekubaliana lakini overall mimi nikisikia vile tunaongea hapa mambo muhimu imejadiliwa hapa tunaongea kila mmoja wetu achangie katika kubadilisha Kenya aidha kupitia kwa ushuru kupitia kwa uh, levies and whatever we are doing nimesikia hapa we are improving the quality of what we are doing we are building the capacity of our uh, what we call juakali yet actually it is our manufacturing sector those who manufacture our doors those who manufacture our windows those who are involved in construction equipment making steel making cement making all the other products everybody is upping their game because there is now an opportunity and there is scale of doing work at a higher scale i'm also um, hearing that all of us here have embraced the culture of saving 
Ukisikia Stanley pale anaongea mambo ya saving. Ukisikia Shadrach, Meshach pale anasema saving. Muema anasema saving. Wanjiru hapa is talking about saving. So all of us are embracing the culture of savings as a nation. We are also embracing the culture of paying our taxes. And we are also embracing uh, the culture of us moving uh, together as a nation. Therefore, I am very proud that we are all moving in the same direction. So, Asante Nisana, thank you uh, very much, Bwana Obed, Asante Sana Stanley, uh, and, and everybody around this, Mary, and my good friend Anthony, and, uh, and uh, Jackie here, and all of us. Now, Asante Sana, my friend uh, uh, Kakai, Sisi Wote, we are one team, and uh, it is my hope that we will take this country to the next level together. Asante Sana. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Tumashukuru Sana. Um, back to you. Your Excellency, if we can just have a picture with the artisans. Your Excellency, maybe just to stand in the middle uh, for a picture with artisans, or maybe we can step forward, just step forward a little bit. Uh, the photographers. Let's be seated, please. The rest of us, we can be seated. Then also we'll have PS. Now that has been a panel discussion picture. led, of course, by one President uh, William Ruto After that, and panelists who include artisans sharing their experiences on how they've been able to gain from the affordable housing project. Uh, other saying they've been able to, of course, gain some monies, uh, our income, if you like. And there, those are live pictures from State House Nairobi. The panel is taking an opportunity to take a photograph with the president after sharing those experiences that they've been able to have since the inception of the affordable housing project across uh, the country. Of course, the president has just signed the affordable housing bill into law, and now the housing deductions are officially legal. Uh, this follows a court ruling uh, early in the year 2024, saying the affordable housing uh, bill, or rather law, earlier did not have a basis or rather a legal basis or and a framework and so forcing the members of parliament to go back to the drawing board and of course drafting this a particular bill that has been now uh, signed or rather assented into law and of course in the tradition of a state house or rather the president signing uh, ordinary bills into law it's normally a very, very short event of about 10 minutes, but today it's a special event uh, in that these are particular uh, rather law, the present or rather even the Kenya Kwanzaa administration and the government has taken it with a lot of seriousness, you know, because the president has been saying this is um, a project that will be able to guarantee unemployed millions of Kenyans across the country to have an opportunity for jobs. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, President William Ruto, and all our dignitaries, Deputy President, PCS, uh, speakers of both Houses of Parliament, together with the leadership, and all who've been involved, and my friends, wala wanafanya kwa mjengo, buwana asifiwe, your Excellency, the 19th of March will go down in history as turning a new page in the chapter of this country. I really want to thank all of those who have been involved in this entire process. I recently saw a newspaper um, headline 
that listed the senators and MPs who voted for this bill, and they were saying those who have betrayed Kenyans. I want to tell the MPs and the senators, on behalf of the millions of people who have been living in squalor, in our informal settlements, and I will start with the urban areas, on behalf of those who have been described here by Stanley and Shadrach and all of them, who live a life without dignity, we are proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. We are going to rewrite the story of our urban spaces. The built environment gives dignity. The built environment gives esteem to our people. And I'm very happy that they have said what will not come out the same way when we say it. That what dignity is there when you live in the same room with your children and your wife and the only thing separating you is a bed sheet. That when your wife has to go to shower in a communal bathroom somewhere out there with other men waiting, there is no dignity. A first class country cannot have a second class citizen. And I'm glad, Your Excellency, that you have moved and we are, we are in sync, that we are no longer doing slum upgrading in Kenya. We are doing slum eradication. Slum upgrading, there is no first class slum and a second class slum. A slum is a slum. Let us move to slum eradication. Your Excellency, our mutual friend, who one day sent me to you, and I know you've been speaking, the president of AFDB, Akinumi Adesina, said that Kenya must choose. We cannot be number one in the marathon and number one in slums. We must choose one of the two. Either we are number one in marathon or number one in the slums. And I agreed with him. I'm so happy because, Your Excellency, just one of these projects, for instance, if we did in committee, can eradicate the entire Kahawa Soweto slum. Three or four of these, because people forget, Many of our informal settlements are only one single story. As gender do, with just a tenth of that space and the decanting that I've heard P.S. Hinga talking about, and thank you so much for your commitment, we can be able to change the destiny of our country. Secondly, Your Excellency, I just want to affirm, because I know people out there have been saying that this is something that is for the counties, this is for the national government. I would wish to tell them, devolution is not a competition. Devolution is partnership. Devolution is partnership between levels of government to make sure that we serve our people the best. It is based on the principle of subsidiarity that a service is best offered closest to the benefit of that. So as counties, we are partners. You know, it is like a bird flying asking for me to fly, which wing do I need, the left wing or the right wing? A bird needs both wings for it to fly, both the national government and the county government. And on behalf of my colleagues, I want to tell you and commit that we will partner. We had a discussion, we've been talking, we will partner as counties to also do these projects, to do our part, to identify land, you know, because these people, there are no Kenyans served by the national government and other Kenyans served by the county governments. They are all our Kenyans. Your Excellency, as I go towards um, conclusion, on the 7th of June, 2023, you said something profound. On the 7th of June, 2023, we had had the national prayer breakfast. And the speaker that day gave a story of empathy. And he said that if you feel pain, it is because you're alive. If I pinch you, if you get hurt and you feel pain, it is because you're alive. But if you feel somebody else's pain, it is because you're a human being. Your Excellency, thank you for feeling the pain of millions of our people in our cities, even in our rural areas, who have no hope who are living lives of squalor. And I pray that this will be the beginning of the end of that story. As my friend has said, kuitwa kitongoji au makanda itaisha na kutakuwa na majina ya baraka katika hameno yetu. As a county, we are, we are working together with the PS and with the ministry, our county aggregation industrial park, because Nairobi ni shamba ya mawe, atuna matunda na mboga na kahawa, our product is this, Your Excellency. Our kaipi Nairobi, is metalwork and woodwork industry. We are dealing with Peter, Mudama, and the Kamkunji and the Ngongru teams. Thicker road between Madari and Utali, that is where we're going to have our industry. Imilango Yote, Madirisha, we together with these people, we are bringing the common user facility machine and give our young people hope in this work that we're doing. <laughs> Your Excellency, one story that my friend Aligusia Kidogo too. Na ningetaka kumsaidia kusensitiza 
he said that in the informal settlements, every other day there is a fire. And I don't think people understood. You know, in January, one fire that, of course, we regret that happened in Embakasi took the attention of the nation. But, Your Excellency, do you know in that same month there were 47 other fires in Nairobi County, in our informal settlements, because of illegal power connections, because we've not given these people a dignified life. Imagine leaving your home and not knowing whether when you come back your children are safe, whether they're how you left them, or whether your house has burned down because of the indignity of living in that informal settlement. Your Excellency, please help us to make sure we sort that out, make sure that we provide water for them, we're able to reticulate for them, because a first-class country that Kenya is cannot and will never have a second-class citizen. Your Excellency, as guided by yourself, um, thank you so much. I would like to invite the Prime Cabinet Secretary to say a word and then invite the Deputy President. Thank you. Um, thank you, Your Excellency, and the Deputy President, uh, brothers and sisters. Um, today, a good story has been told. But the significant thing is that it is a story that is factual. It's not fiction. I think that is extremely important, that the whole journey to providing housing, decent housing, affordable housing, to the Kenyan people is now not fiction, but it's a fact that is being undertaken. The second thing I would just like to point out, Your Excellency, is that cherry-picking of constitutional provisions is one of our most unfortunate habits as Kenyan people. Because providing shelter to all Kenyans is a constitutional provision. Providing water to all Kenyans is a constitutional provision. Providing education is a constitutional provision. And so is the need to provide free and open conversation and dialogue. But the problem is that we have been spending so much time cherry picking and cherry picking the convenient ones, but it takes courage to address the other constitutional provisions which are not about just speaking, but being very practical. Your Excellency, we must commend you, we must commend the legislators, we must commend the planners that on this one, they have held the bull by the horns. They have tackled the difficult aspects that are provided for in the Constitution. You did not cherry pick the easy ones. You have taken the difficult ones. Let me commend you and let us work as a united team, as Kenyans, making sure that we do not engage in cherry picking the softer options, but tackle the tough and meaningful options in our Constitution. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, please come forward. Your Excellency, our President, the Prime Cabinet Secretary and Cabinet Ministers present, the Speakers of the two Houses, and everybody here, I want to say that today is a very momentous occasion for our great Republic. You are sending the Affordable Housing Bill 2023 into law this morning, Your Excellency, clears the path for dignifying our people by giving them shelter and again for creating employment for our young people. Your Excellency, when this program ran into problems from our critics and we had challenges before the courts of law, you provided leadership and we admire your tenacity to do the right thing. And you did indicate to us that we must have respect for the rule of law, constitutionalism, and independent institutions. 
And that is why, Your Excellency, under your guidance, you decided we do the right thing by aligning the law and conform to what the courts wanted. And now that this has been done, the path is now clear so that we can create employment for our young people and we can give the Kenyan people dignified shelter. Let me say that those of us you have given the responsibility, you have given the responsibility to deal with matters, drug abuse and alcoholism. Under your guidance direction, you have guided us that people should not drink during the day. Now we have an opportunity because there will be employment for people to go and work. And for avoidance of doubt, bars will open at 5 and close at 11 p.m. The rest of the time, let us go and work. Let us go and build houses. Let us go and provide shelter for the Kenyan people. Your Excellency, I don't want to spare this occasion because if I had thought it clearly, I should have prepared a written speech because when you have a written speech, you cannot say a word that can spoil a very good occasion. So let me add there by not adding anything and to say, Your Excellency, we want to <laughs> congratulate you as our vision carrier for this matter of affordable housing. This program will define your legacy. And we want to assure you, those of us, you have given the privilege to work under you and to assist you in the management of the affairs of this great country. We are right behind you and we ask all Kenyans to support this program and to support our president so that we can dignify our people. Your Excellency, for today, I also don't want you to say anything. You might spoil this occasion, which has been very good. Now you have the tools, you have the funds. Please go to work and make sure Kenyans are dignified. Asante Nizami. Right, thank you. We've come to the end of this session. However, we'll request that uh, we remain where we are. We're going to take some photos with the different groups. So for the groupings, we'll request that you just remain where you are. We'll direct you on how we'll go. But for your excellency, we'll allow you to retreat at your own pleasure. And uh, we'll call you for the photos once we are ready. And with that, we've come to the end of this session. But kindly, let's remain where we are. We'll direct you how we'll proceed to the photos.